Yeah. Hello darling, where are we? Hello everybody, we have just arrived at the house of a friend of mine, her name is Sue Klein, fantastic artist, she paints all sorts of fantasy, um, animals, creatures, people, it's just wonderful artwork and we really really thought that you'd like to have a look. So we've come to visit Sue Klein and come with us. Hello everybody, welcome. I'm at the home of Sue Klein along with our friend here Denise Allen and the Travelling Brush Dippers have come today to see Sue and to have a look at her lovely artwork. We thought you'd be thrilled to bits with it because it's very, very unique and very, very beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, it's very exciting to see her beautiful home and all the gorgeous pictures and in a minute we'll have a look and we'll take the camera and show you everything but I think you're getting a taste of this lovely house from what you can see just here in the corner. Now this is our Sue and we've known each other for how long do you think? A long time. I was trying to work that out today. 15 years, 16 years do you think? More, yeah, 15 or 16 face. years. I don't know, I'm not even <laughs> convinced more. it might not be more actually. Really? And we first met at a fairy festival. Now, don't laugh, <laughs> fairy festival is a great thing. I love it, I love it, dressing up. It's, it's our chance to dress up and be yeah. real girlies, isn't it? And be Lots, fairies, yes, be fairies actually. <laughs> Lots you, of sparkle and yes, lace, yes, and, and, and just yes, yes. yes. Wings. Oh, wings. yes. Don't forget wings. the wings. I have, guess what colour my wings are? Orange? Yes. What colour are your wings? Pink. <laughs> <laughs> what colour would my wings be? I purple. think yours would be purple. I think they'd be yes. purple. Yes, they'd be purple. Or turquoise. Yes, or yes, turquoise would do you as well, wouldn't it? Yes. Double wings, yes. double layer. Yeah. We, we have great fun. Um, the last fairy festival I was with you was Port, uh, Plymouth. Plymouth, that's how long. Wow. But if it's of interest to you, Sue um, still travels up to the New Forest and there's a fabulous fairy festival there over the bank holiday weekend. So if you're around and about and you're in this country then, do go along and have a look. So what do you do when you do the fairy festivals? I mean, what, what do you get up to? You have a stand and you sell your bits and pieces? Yes, paintings? I take my paintings, take my prints and um, basically, yeah. Uh, in my little gazebo cell and meet friends there and oh I just love it there. They have bands and um and I dress up. <laughs> so we, we do love the dress, dress up. We do love the dress up. Even though and I'm you said, you, I you, I said you were gonna put your, your glitter on today and you didn't but when you go to the fairy <laughs> festival I take it you do. She's I got glitter. a painting pin on today. Yeah, look at the full, yeah, full glitter yeah. <laughs> yeah. when you go. Oh, oh yes full, uh, full metal bloom. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. I, I think the funniest thing I ever saw at a fairy festival, um, on Dartmoor this was, and the stand next to me, they were, they were Australian, and they were the wing Ooh. makers, and they made these extraordinary wings that you could wear for, for the festivals. And um, they, the girls on the stand had their husbands and their boyfriends with them. So to promote the wings, they got the boyfriends to dress up and to walk around wearing the wings. Mm -hmm. Now, that sounds a bit peculiar, but if you could have seen it, it was the biggest scream you can ever imagine. Because <laughs> they were selling stripy tights. So you know the big wide stripes that you see, if, if you know about fairies, when you're looking down the garden. And they had little um, sequin boob tubes on. And I'm talking burly blokes, you yeah. know. 
Um, the majority of them had long hair. Yes. And they were they were wearing kind of fairy um, headdresses yeah, on. Put the wings on that, okay? Yes. But then imagine they were also selling tutus. Yeah. So you had these chaps <laughs> in the stripy tights, mm -hmm. fairy wings, sequined, um, you know, boob tubes, yeah. and a tutu. And, and of Dr. course, Martins. and the Doc Martens. And chaps, you know, we're being kind to you here, and I'm not being sexist, but no. ladies tend to sort of swan along. And you gents and walk works. about like this. And it was <laughs> hilarious the way these guys were walking across the field. And as they walked, their tutus were doing this. <laughs> it was such a yeah. scream. Can I ask a question about yeah. them? Yeah. If they were Australian, did they have the wings on upside down? No. 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 They don't need to when they're over in this country because they can fly the other way up. So it's all right. That's all right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs>
Do you, so, so what's your main inspiration? What's the thing that really makes your heart go bang? You know, boom, boom, boom. What? What? You mean um, subject yeah. matter? Yeah. Native Indian, American Indian, I love painting. Because we travel um, to America and we've done all the reservations. and You've met some of the chiefs, have met some you? of the chiefs, we've talked with them, we've had dinner with them. Oh, and I just, when when I'm over there, I just, you know, I get consumed with it all. And when I get back, I just want to paint Native Indian. I just love, love the story, the history, the everything. Oh, that's and, interesting. Yeah, is it, so it's, is it the, the legend around the way they live as well? And yeah, the, yeah, it's a bit sad and how they were and that. And we've been to the Battle of Little Big Horn. Yeah, and to see the vast area where it all happened, the big battle, you know, just think it's Amazing. unbelievable. Was there yeah. a feeling there? Did yeah, you definitely. Get that free yeah. Yeah. absorption of the, the yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you can, I can feel it all going on and I can see it all and it's just unbelievable. And, and your hand wants to get it down on. Just want to do it, yeah, yeah. just want to paint yeah. them and bring them back to life yeah. and just Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see some more of your work because what I've seen in here is fantastic. So I can't wait oh, to see so your awesome, studio. Yeah, it's just the amazing. The colours are just incredible. Oh, it's so, so rich. Yes. Yeah. 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 So tell me, what do you paint with? Is it acrylic or oil? It's acrylic and also open acrylics, which um, takes longer to dry. Oh right. In fact, it takes too long for me because I'm really quick painter, yes, yeah. so sometimes they're a bit frustrating for me. But they've got a bit of an oil to them because they take longer to dry. Okay. Open acrylics. Oh, no, they're new on me. I haven't had Oh, really? Them I use like them. You, these, these are the Italian. I use the Italian Interactives. Which, which brand yeah. do you use? Uh, Is it the Golden Open? Or? Yeah, Golden. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. They do take a while to dry, okay. which is annoying because I do work fast and I'm working on something now and I have to learn to stop, leave and it, slow down. yeah, and wait until it dries because the more I go over it, the more it's getting worse. So <laughs> that's because it reactivates and mixes yeah, in, doesn't it? Is, it? Yeah, it is, and it's just not doing what I want it to do and it's not drying, hence it's all blend and muddy yes. and in together, yeah. so yeah. I've got, got just to, to learn to stop. Go and have my cup of tea. Yeah. So for all the gorgeous detail, it is just acrylic because the, the just, golden just excuse me. No, no, what I mean is, 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 is no mixed media. You know, it's, no. there's there's nothing. No, you I, haven't you used gold leaf on some? Oh oh um yes yes I think it's behind you. Oh, it's right. the little crowd, sorry. Oh, we'll have a look you at can that. see that over your shoulder, shall yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so that's end. this one here. Yeah. And I, that thought, one... I thought I'd seen some, some glitter and bling. Yeah. You know me, I always like the glitter and bling. <laughs> um, so you've also painted goddesses. Yeah. And so you like the myth and mythology yeah. and... I like the stories. Yes, yes, yeah, so do I. Yeah, I do. And the stories. And yeah. the fairies. And wizards. Yeah. All sorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just keep me grounded, the master art. <laughs> 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 explain this to, to our, um, our viewers. Can you just explain...
explain the pictures to me? You said it's master arts pictures. Yeah, that is the natural um, master art painting, Victorian painting, and they were two cherubs. Okay. But and then I turned them into a cat and a dog. Hmm. And then I add little things because on the original there was a rock there. And I thought, well, oh, that'd be fun to put a tortoise. Because you don't want to just put his foot on a rock, do <laughs> you? Yeah. Really, oh. do you? No, when makes you it much more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, right. do you know what? I think I'm going to start putting tortoises in a landscape. Why not? <laughs> well, that's where I started. That's where you've gone wrong. <laughs> that's where I started. I was painting landscapes and bored to death with it all, and then something. Yeah, oh, I wonder what the pyramid would be. look like in the middle of the, the, the Scottish. Why you know, not? Island. So, yeah. this is lovely. I love the three little mice. Yeah. So they're, they're playing so you can um, hear instruments. The music. Yeah, and, and the this frog. gorgeous little frog playing the cello. See, I like cello or double bass? I think it's a cello. A cello, it okay. Be. It would be it's too, a double bass would be too big for a frog. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> yeah, that would just be <laughs> that would be sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I think you know it's quite kind of fun dressing the cat up in tights and. I, I, it's my sense of humour, yeah. I think, on yeah. the Master of Arts, but that is a copy of an original painting. I'm just going to have little things, like it's a cricket on. Oh, so there is? Yeah. The more you look at it, it, the more you see. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. more you'll see, that's what I like. And yeah, I've just so enjoyed doing that. And the interesting thing about Sue's work here, unlike the old masters who painted these beautiful pictures with the gorgeous trees, once upon a time, those trees in the old masters' paintings would have been this fabulous vibrant green but of course as the years go by and the paints degrade and oxidize they have all faded out to brown, browns and greys Sue's won't do that acrylic will hold modern technology modern paints shazam yeah pigment. so different yeah good at pigment yeah yeah, yeah. Now you've also got two books here, so Sue has two rather gorgeous books. We've got Dreams of Art and we have the Fairy Relaxing Colouring Book. Now both of these are available, so where would people be able to buy these, Sue? You can, if you Google it, you can find them. You can get that one on eBay, um, my Fairy Relaxing Colouring Book. This one um, you can get from, I forgot that bookshop. Amazon? Called. No. It's on, it might be on Amazon. We'll put a link, oh, in, we'll put a link uh, in the we'll episode in the notes. We'll put a link there. Name. Wallstones? Oh, okay. Yeah, that Wallstones, one. You can get one. it from in there as okay. well. Okay, yeah. and they're yeah. beautiful. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, put a link, we'll put links on. Yeah, no, it's fine. So th this is all your very gorgeous artwork. From start? Start to finish. To finish. So How here's the Indian on. artwork. Yeah. Very, very beautiful, well worth a look. We'll take a few shots of these so that you can have a look more closely. And if you love colouring, well, this is absolutely the book for you. And being pedantic, it's really nice. Because <laughs> some of the colouring books are absolute tosh. Oh, yeah, I've seen them. They're yeah. so thin. If you were to put a pen on that, it would go yeah, straight through it. You can so actually put paint on that. Sue's two lovely books. So, you, and you did these yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so I've myself. Absolutely, absolutely lovely. Lots yeah. of work in that, though, putting it all together and yeah, but photoshopping, you know. Yeah, take a little time to get it all together. But the colouring book, it was so nice because in the evenings I'd just be sketching and... So what's what's next for you? I mean, have you got any events lined up? There's the fairy festival coming Doing that. in August. Yeah, because of COVID, I kind of halted everything mm. and I sort of thought too much about anything else. But I'm hoping to get out there more soon, mm -hmm. if I can. So that you can see I... people and they can come and see you. Yes. I've missed that during COVID. Me too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I miss that more than anything. Oh. You know, and being an artist, we're sort of, we keep sort of um, to ourselves, don't we? And we you it know, can and be lonely, it's can't it, on your own, actually. Yes. Yeah, and I, you know, I had a couple of moments during COVID where I thought, oh, my God, what do you know, I can't do this anymore, because I was going in my studio and painting, and, you know, I thought, when will this end, sort of thing, but... The days were very repetitive, weren't, weren't they, they, during yeah. COVID? Because you, yeah. you had your routine, and probably for the first couple of months that was quite nice. And then all of a sudden, it becomes yeah. wearying, because each day yeah. is the same as the day before. Yeah, you couldn't go um, out and mm. just do whatever. Mm. And, you know, the only thing so. that changed was the colour of the paint, really, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the largest painting, would you say, that you'd ever painted? Oh, I think 30 by 40 inches. Well, that's not that big, but, you know, I think, you know, well, Glenn actually gets a bit worried when <laughs> I try to think, because the artwork literally is everywhere. It's stacked every, we'll show everywhere. You. In his bedroom, you can't move. Oh, <laughs> in the bedroom. So uh, it's literally everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've stacked it. It's all upstairs. and. So he gets a bit jittery when he sees a big old canvas going. Where's, where's that going? Yeah, where's that going? <laughs> Already, I've hardly painted. <laughs> He's like, well, where's that going? <laughs> That's not fair. So, oh dear. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. And what's oh, the what, what's the painting that you can remember the most that you've probably enjoyed the most, or your favourite that you've done? Have you got a favourite, or is it the one that you're doing now? Because very often it's, it's the current picture, right. isn't it? Yeah, it's the current picture and after I've painted them. But I enjoy painting all on, really. They sort of take me to different places and get my mind mm -hmm. thinking different mm -hmm. things. Um, so, yeah, that's not really a favourite. And yeah. you've, you've got your own... Do you have a studio or do you work here in the home? Yeah, I work in the home, just... Uh, so you've got, your, you've got your own room. <laughs> you've got my own yes, room. Like I have. Yes, yeah. It's rather nice, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's rather nice. So when, yeah. when you work, how? what's your process? Do you go in there? Do I, I go in and I perhaps light some incense or something smelly and then I put the yeah. music on yeah. and sit down and settle and you know then I'm yeah. everything about me, smell, sight, everything says I'm ready to, to yeah. create now. Do you do much the same? Yeah, yeah, put the music on and if I'm doing native Indian that'll be native Indian music. So you hear that oh, okay. on, the, on the drums. So that get me involved more in the mm -hmm. the the art, doing mm -hmm. the native Indian takes me back on holiday sort of yes. thing so I can yeah. then really focus in on it. Yeah. yeah, so I have to definitely have my music and the incense is great. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that though and been smoked out. <laughs> oh, yes, so I, I, I can't see my <laughs> work because my eyes, I can't cope. Get your eyes you need to open the window in the yeah. city. Glenn's like, what have you been doing? <laughs> but, yeah, I do the same. You have to sort of yeah. um, get your mindset. And you know you're ready and zoned in. Yeah, yeah I love that. Yeah, love so that well, actually. Yeah. Just no, funnily enough, just walking through the door sometimes at the studio, you your whole body says, "Oh, this is my nice yeah, place." Here we go. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Shut the door out, and it's wonderful. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, can we go and see your studio then? Can we go and have a little look round? Is yeah. that right? Definitely. Yeah. Come on, come Definitely. with us and let's go and have a look. Oh, you're in the video. These are my star signs. I thoroughly enjoy painting these. Um, Gemini and Taurus, Libra. So they all come from my imagination. Um, so they took a while to paint actually to come together. But on every one I wanted to do kind of the same background with the gold circles. So they look part of a set. So they kept them all together. And they really worked well, the colours and everything. They and it took a while to finish and when I saw them all together they just looked amazing. They really did look like the set. Each one and every one is different, but um, you know, I studied the style signs and really got involved. Um like you've got Virgo, I love that one. Um, she's just so pretty and I just thought oh Virgo and the Virgin maybe and she just looks so graceful and 
beautiful. And the time, the clock on her is just to do with time and the virgin and, you know, time's running out, that sort of thing. That's how I sort of got involved with that star sign. Then we got Sagittarius. Um, that one's lovely. That is my star sign. <laughs> so I really enjoy painting that one. Um, I love horses anyway. So then the, the background, sort of the journey and the rocks the journey where she came from, or even he came from, on the ship and that. I love the colours. And then we've got Scorpio. I thought, how on earth do I paint a scorpion and get involved with this in the scorpion? But he just, he just came and the colours, I love his colours. And he just evolved. And then the, the, um, the lady at the top, um, I had to do a sort of looking a bit savvy and a bit, you know, um, to go with the Scorpio sort of thing. Anyway, um, Cancer, again, I thought, like, how do I do the crab? How, how is this going to work? But again, that evolved. Um, the crab came, she came, her story came. And it all came together really well. Some came fast, some came slow. And I love that one, Aries and the Ram. She was my first one I painted. And I knew then after painting her, this was going to be a lovely set. This was going to work. And they did. And I finished. <laughs>
going to make anything of that. Never I hate it. That. But the colours are wrong. Not that's not where I want it yeah. to be. <laughs> but in actual wrong. fact, you know, when you work yeah. through that, yeah. I think you learn an awful lot more you do. than you do if you did get rid of it. Definitely. So you will carry on working on this piece? Definitely. Yeah. How many yeah. hours do you think you're in on that? Um, it's quite a big one. I mean, it's total imagination. It takes a while. Um, I'll say a man month. Four weeks. Oh my word, okay. Yeah, yeah, about a month, four weeks. In fact, flowers. <laughs> Do you think that, you know, that stage you're talking about is a bit like the painting going through its troublesome teenage years and then it has to yeah. grow, up, grow up a bit and then it can I go do. out into the world? Yes, yeah. I do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because it, it kind of fights back, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. At that and stage. I've learned not to put it to one side, to mm. keep on doing it because it's there. I can see it's there. But it's me. I need to just, just pull it out. I've got to pull it out and walk away and come back again and just to see. Just yeah. Do you work on one at a time or do you work on several at a time? Uh, one at a time. Because otherwise it's overwhelming. Yeah. We're going back to the conversation much. earlier. Yeah, I've done I've done that with the star signs because obviously there's twelve. And I th as I've done them, I thought, well, that one's nearly done. I'll put that one aside to start the next one. Yeah, I'll leave that there. That's there. And I had to go back to nearly all of them. And that was, oh, that was just a nightmare because they took long enough as it was doing 12. And then I had to go back to <laughs> all to refinish them. Do you lose your enthusiasm going back to the same picture like yeah, that? Yeah, because you've done it. It seems a bit boring because there's mm. nothing new. It's yes. just, oh, I just tighten that bit up and then it ends up you change nearly the whole picture. Yes, because you your ideas got... change in the meantime, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so I've learned not to do that mm. anymore, mm. to finish them. You're very so disciplined. Let, let that be a lesson to yes. you. <laughs> Finish them. Don't put them to one side because I think you won't go back to them. That's, yeah, that, there's a reason why I you think put that's them to one, one side. of my big problems actually. Or you put them aside. Well, yeah, because I, I go, I'll paint, get it ready, yeah. go and do a demo, start it, paint oh, it course. for two hours, yeah. and then it comes home, and then maybe I've got to get ready for the next demo. Yeah. So that picture goes aside, stands up on a board against the wall or somewhere. Yeah. And then the next problem is I land up with 50 paintings, yeah. all had two hours work into them, painting oh. work into them. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't include the, the drawing and the designing. And then, then I might still have the enthusiasm, but I'm thinking, but which one do I want to do? Yeah, and I can't same. make my mind up. So what? Yes, rather than making that connection, that's a very yeah. good description. Yeah. Um, it's easier just to walk away and go and find something else to do. Yeah. Oh, 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 I know. <laughs> you've got to finish it because you've got to reconnect, re yeah. get in your head. Where was I yeah. going with this? Yes. And you might get it totally wrong. Yeah. And, and then the picture looks disjointed, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's wrong. It's not what you wanted to paint. But I find with mine, if I think it's really good because if you have a break or you stand away, you'll do stuff and you think, gosh, that's incredible. Would I have done that if I'd have yes. carried on going yes. yeah. where I was going sort of thing? So it, it can work. And do you ever find that when you get really enthused with something, you go mad for working on it and then find that you do make mistakes because yeah. you, you're not thinking it out properly? Yeah. I've you done can. that with shadows. Because oh. I've, I've painted standing stones and yeah. druids and been so, the music's there, the yeah, singing about so the druids, you, you know, and and all yeah. that, and I'm really <laughs> into it. And then I've put the shadows in, gone and had a cup of tea and come back and thought, oh no, because no. the sun's there and all my shadows are doing this. Yeah. You know, they're in the wrong place. Oh. So that's hopeless. Where's yeah. your light coming Where's from? Where's your light? This is Matthew Palmer would say. Where's your light coming from? Oh, yeah. she now, something else to ask you. I'm looking here at what, Sue's table. No, that's your work. No, that's, 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 yes. that's inspiration. That's one oh, of the really? biggest palettes oh, I've ever seen. Lovely. Can, can yeah, we lovely. show everybody your yeah. lovely palette? Yes. So. Look at the size of this, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, is this... Sorry, I put water in. Oh my God, oh, yes. I'm a Yes, sorry, so, I've, I've overwatered. Is that... That's a stay wet palette, isn't it? That is. I Do you see I'm a bit... 
This is Sue's palette, look at this. Huge, big, stay wet palette. And you can see Sue's put water in here to, to keep it moist, a little bit yeah. too much maybe, because yeah. I've just slung it all over the floor. <laughs> but that's me yeah, for you. But isn't that amazing? And you know when Denise is talking about muck off the palette? Oh, my favorite color. Well, this, this is it, all these beautiful colors all mixed together. Mm. But that is, I mean, you could sell that on eBay just as a palette and a work of art in its own right, can you? you say that with my apron, <laughs> I'm finished with them. <laughs> but yes, lovely, yeah, I love lovely, it. a lovely I collection of paint. Fab. It's can potential, that? that's what that is, it's when, potential. When we're talking about a tube of paint, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I buy a tube of paint, I buy a tube of paint. Oh, do you? And here we are, this is, no. this is a tube of paint. Look at the look yeah. at the sister with that. I no know. lids, look. I'm you rubbish. need a snack. And then look. Hugo, the dog, comes in. <laughs> <He's used laughs> the There's no hope. This no is hope. wonderful, Sue. It's like being in somebody else's sweetie box. Oh, I've got bags, cupboards full. Look at that. Paint. I know. I'm, I'm it's, a bit rubbish. For, for another artist, this is amazing to stand here and look at all these beautiful things. Yeah. that somebody else uses. It's like being in a jewellery box, isn't it? All these gorgeous colours. Um, brushes. I've got no end of brushes. Have you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah. yeah. Are you good with them? Do you look after them and love them? No. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be silly. <laughs> no, I'm not very good oh, with brushes. <laughs> no, no, no housework. <laughs> your printer, I covet your printer. That is the best thing I bought last year. That printer is unbelievable. That never lets me down. I can leave that for a couple of months and that'll still print perfect. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? So I love that's it. a lovely, great big Epsom yeah. A3 printer. Yeah. Mm. I love that. Beautiful thing. Best thing I bought through lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> and it's amazing the things that you, you don't think you're going to need to use as an artist. Yeah. It's about cropping reference yeah. and, and yeah. trialing things yeah. and chopping stuff up and working yeah. out how things work. Yeah. Um, yeah, you use true. them for all sorts of things, yes. not just printing out a photograph. Yes. There's so many things you use printers for. Oh yeah. yeah. I use my, I see you've got a computer in here with your um, printer and yeah. I use mine for resizing things so yeah, that I can, I, I can use them for reference yeah. and what have yeah. you. Invaluable yeah. really. Yeah, I think so. Invaluable. Definitely, I don't know what I do with that. Now, one. something else that you um, have been involved with is puzzles. Yeah. So your work's available as puzzles as well. Not in the least bit surprised, given the detail <laughs> in there. Yeah. And did that just come about, or did you go and hunt that down and find somebody to take the puzzles on? Well, I've got an agent in America who promotes my art to companies, and the company who done the puzzle was called Suns Out, which my agent got. So um yeah, so I was pleased with many journeys which has gone on puzzle. Oh lovely. Yeah, I was so it's it's doing really well. Yeah, well so that's oh I wonder what's next. What's she gonna get up to next? Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what's around the corner? I wish I knew <laughs> Start working towards that. Yeah. So it sounds to me as though you're doing perfectly well, just the way you are. Just keep going. Just stay in. Whatever you're doing. Just, <laughs> just be going. yourself. Just yeah. Be mm -hmm. myself. I'm quite happy here, mm -hmm. painting, uh, rather than going out. Yes. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it suits yes. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get up there, doesn't it?